to react to uh I don't know if you been I don't know if you on my YouTube channel, bro, but uh I have like a list of like reaction videos that I react to to keep my algorithm going and keep my views up, like videos that like uh people want to see. So like I have to react to like at least a couple of those real quick. But uh What's up YouTube? It's your boy Lunar Neos. I'm here with Twitch. We vibing. And uh this video, I don't I'm out the loop. I don't know what this girl did. Apparently, she got on stage at uh Omaha Lay. The video is called Woman Who Ruined Her Relationship at Omaha Lay Concert Response. Apparently, this girl ruined her relationship and her man left her. And she danced on stage with this uh this famous singer from overseas. I don't know if he's an African singer or something. You saw this, KJ? Okay. Yeah, so um, I don't know what it is. I just seen it and um, it came across my feed or whatever. And uh, I seen like uh, people on Facebook talking about it. So, and I just added it to my streaming list. So what I do is that I, uh, I have a list of videos. Like I have a playlist that I keep. Uh, when I see stuff going on, my going on in the world or whatever, like just um, just different shit that like you know that everybody's interacting with. I just added to my uh, I got like a little playlist that I have that um, uh, I react to for, you know the the main audience. You said this was crazy, damn, bro. So yeah, I'm glad I added it. You sitting there, you you typing in all caps. This got to be bad, bro. <laughs> anyway, um. This video is by um the Poor Man Reacts podcast. The Poor Man Podcast Reacts. So I don't really know about dude. I've uh, I've seen him on the timeline, but I have never watched any of his videos and stuff like that. So this is my first time watching his video and this is my first time seeing this video. I just seen it I just seen it being shared a lot through uh Facebook and shit. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna keep y'all waiting anymore. Let's go. The girl who completely embarrassed her boyfriend in front of the entire world at the Omelay concert. Wait, wait, time out. Her boyfriend was there? Oh, that's crazy. This gotta be bad. I thought this was just another, um, I thought this was another um, Kiki Palmer situation where, you know, he found out later or whatever. <laughs> to be there. Is crazy. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. If my bitch going crazy over a nigga in front, like I just saw fame, like these are famous, these famous niggas are nothing special. They just can sing, bro. They're regular people. If you going crazy over a nigga that's singing in front of you, we are done. We over with, bro. It's old, bro. Um, let me finish before I, before I go before I go crazy. Okay. Wait, he watching. A few moments later. <laughs> he walked up. Uh, so. <laughs> What's she, what happened behind the? I, bro, please, hey KJ, find the video, the video of her dancing behind the curtains for me real quick, because I want to know what the fuck she did behind that curtain. Cause that's insane. It was that bad, girl. She like had, you, 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 her you, friend is sitting there saying it was that bad. So like, she was grinding on him and everything. Oh hell no! And you watching it? The way I put your phone on. Well, apparently this story went viral so much so that three-time streamer of the year Kai Sinat reached out to her. Hey, bro. She replied! Damn!
I said, let me, yo. I said, let me know if you want to talk on stream to tell your side of the story. She said, hi, thank you for reaching out. I'm definitely interested in collaborating with you. However, I'd appreciate it if we could discuss, discuss compensation for my time and my contributions. Huh? She's trying to get paid. <laughs> What the f does that mean, Kobe Bryant? Huh? Nah, 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 nah. She moving like him. What the fuck? What the fuck? She saw this as an opportunity getting on her knees. She was, oh, uh, hell no. Nah. Okay, bro, she cannot. She was grinding. First off, she taking this opportunity as a bag. She she taking this opportunity and I can't even be mad at her her hustle for real. So not only did she fumble the boyfriend, but she also fumbled the bag. Because if it was me, I wait. She fumbled the so they broke up. Thank God he did not stay with her. Thank God he didn't stay with her. Oh my God, thank God. bro. Oh my God have reached out to a brand for a sponsorship and told them that I was going to be live in front of 60,000 people and brands will pay you tens of thousands of dollars for that kind of reach. But anyway, not only did Kai reach out to her, but the artist Omale had this to say about it. I asked her if she came alone and she confidently said yes. She told me to feel free. If I had the slightest idea that her boyfriend was present, I would have picked another girl. Cap! Cap! That nigga saw, that nigga saw her next to you, bruh. Artists ain't shit, bro. That's, I like that's that's just uh, what's that word? That's just um, uh, that's that's uh, media discretion. That's uh, fuck. What is it called? Um, uh, that's damage control, basically. Thank you, man. You lie a lot. Now we all understand that's a lie, but I don't understand why he feels the need to. Unless it's blatant disrespect or harassment, I never understood dudes that tried to fight other dudes because that guy got with your girl. She's the one in the relationship. It ain't like he holding her a knife point. You mad at the wrong person, brother. <laughs> and I know this sounds crazy, but maturing is realizing that that guy is actually doing you a favor. The girl who was in the video made an apology video, and it's about four minutes of mostly empty space, so I'm gonna try to give y'all a brief. Obviously, before I get started, I want to publicly apologize to him. Obviously, me and him, we've had private conversations where we spoke, but since it was public, I think the right thing for me to do is to publicly apologize to him. Like, that was bad, but, you know, I made it. It was honestly a mistake. Bro, it was just a mistake. Ain't no mistake. I just, if I knew this would, like, get this far, I wouldn't even... You did not, first off, she did not give a fuck about her boyfriend listen. If she really, listen, bro, she ain't even bad either. Listen, bro, if a female really fuck with you, she would have never done that. I don't care how famous the nigga is. Group, like, girl, if you got a group, uh, you got a girl that's a groupie, bro, don't date them type of girls. I, I dated a groupie type of girl, and but I seen it like a mile away. And they would do anything to get, like, stuff like this. Like, they'll do anything to get backstage. They'll do anything to be first in line. They'll do anything. And, like, me and her connected off music. And at the time, like, I was young. So, like, I didn't, I, I'm not really understand. Like, I was, I, I caught on. But it's just, like, if it's an artist and something, if this is an artist or, or a rapper that they love and they just, have fantasized over and just that rapper changed their life or that artist changed their life shit. They would do anything to be on stage with them, let alone like just don't even get me start. Like they'll pay they, those those type of girls are the ones that spend thousands of dollars for those pictures, those portraits, those um meet and greets, everything just to get with them and see if they have the opportunity to be one of the ones to get slutted out. <clears throat> back at the hotel room bro and there's so many females like that you need to brothers listen brothers all across the world please please if you ever get in a situation like this do what this other guy did and just leave 
Matter of fact, don't sit there. I know you probably spent good money for that concert and you front row, but do not be there when she comes back. Don't be there. Just don't for your for your safety, just don't. If I had a girl, I would be mad unless the guy was Drake, then I let it slide. Man, hell no. Nah. Bro, Drake is a wreck. Nah, fuck that, bro. I'm not letting none of that shit slide. Like, like real I'm being dead ass, bro. Drake, it, I don't know. Maybe I think different because I grew up in the music industry and shit. These niggas are regular niggas, bro. Fuck that. And what's crazy is that they do that shit on purpose because they think it's funny, bro. My dad and certain rappers used to take niggas, bitches, because it was funny to them. Bro, like, KJ, I'm not going to repeat you. Second off, why the fuck do you know that, bro? That's insane. Anyway, bro, listen. I'm going to be real with y'all. Don't ever in your life let none of that shit slide because if your girl would do that to you with a rapper she'd do that with you to anybody else and it don't gotta be it could be a nigga with money bro like they have no stand like that that's that's how you know if a female has standards if they will keep themselves in check over somebody with status because Say if you, say y'all grinding out and y'all been in a relationship for this and the third, if a nigga with money come by, she gon', she gon' choose. If she choose with a nigga, for a rapper, bro, she gon' choose with a nigga for money or she gon' choose with a nigga that just look like he got it. That's just a test of loyalty. That's another test of loyalty. And KJ, I don't care how big his stuff is. That's another thing that go into this loyalty shit, bro. Like, bro. You cannot let shit slide, bro. If you let any of that slide, that just goes to show what type of man you are. And you gotta be, you gotta be confident in yourself. You gotta just lay shit. You gotta lay the law down, just within yourself. You can't let certain shit slide, bro. And don't feel like, and don't let her manipulate you and tell you you got insecurities and all this shit. Nah, bro. It's a respect thing. And at the end of the day. A woman that fucks with you and that loves you truly and deeply, she gonna respect you and not not even remotely embarrass you like that, bro. But I'm I'm done talking about it. That shit is fucked up. It's like, I don't know because this is not worth the heat. Can you see the heat? All right, what you say, bro? If I was a girl, I would I would want to get with Drake. No homo. Bro, that's all the way homo, bro. There's no getting out of that, bro. That's homo as fuck, bro. You tripping. Listen, bro. I'm going to be rude. You got to be, KJ, you got to be young as fuck. I'm going to let that slide, bro. I'm not even going to jump down your neck, pause. I'm not going to get on to you, bro. That's gay as shit, bro. That's gay as shit. Oh, my God. Let's continue, bro. This is not why the heat. Can you see the heat? So yeah, let's just get straight into like the, the story. Uh, the rumours actually, I want to address the rumours first. People saying that he's the one that bought the tickets. Who, I beg, who, who told you that as well? Who said he's the one that bought the tickets? It was me. I'm the one that bought the tickets. I wanted me and him to have a good time because you know, like we're young, like real young. You wanted you and him to have a good time, but you went up there on a mission so like bro if she if she kj if she did all that that you're saying like grinding on him and all that extra shit she wanted to get invited back bro because the only, women i've seen it like they do all that extra wild shit to get more bro oh, oh my god i'm gonna stop, well, stop this is a good thing to do let me just take my mind to a concert let's have fun like that's it there's nothing wrong with that i beg since when is it illegal to do so also, me and him, like, we've had private conversations about going on stage with Omele because he does this at his shows. If you know, if you really know Omele, you will know that he's done this in his past, at his past concerts. Like, this is what he does. This is literally... Okay, and that does not give you the right to do it, bro. You could have easily been like, no, bro, I swear to God, my girl, if, if my girl didn't wave, like, be like, no she good he would go to the next one no 
no singer and shit is going to sit there and make you jump on stage with them, bro. That's just imp that's just not gonna happen. To be honest, like, it's nothing new. So obviously, I said, you know, about this conversation. Like I said to him, um, if I was to get called on stage, I'm going to go on stage. What? Yeah. Man, look at man. Hell no. Man, I don't think hell. That she went on stage. By man, hell no. Video, bro. Oh my god, man, what the hell? Hell no, man. <laughs> bro, I'm going to go on stage. What? <laughs> yeah, man, look at man. Hell no. I don't think the problem was that she went on stage by herself. I think the problem was that when he pointed at her, she screamed like a demon in an exorcism. And he said that's fine. Like, he's been saying that's fine. Like, we mean him never, ever, ever had an issue with me going on stage Baby the mail. even when the time came like i think there was a video where people and he probably did not think you was gonna go up there and slit your shit out for free bro oh my god saying, like i was moving away from him like i was pushing him away like no like you was oh my lady she looked at me and said you you said i was meant to be this <laughs> Congratulations, you plagued yourself. So obviously, I just got really excited because Omele is like one of my favorite artists. I don't care what anybody says. Like you all have favorite artists. I didn't need to hear that. Like, so he's mine. So obviously, he's my favorite artist, not mine. Um, so obviously, I got really excited. I was just genuinely happy. Oh, if I know that's how you sound when you're genuinely happy, if I'm paying the bills every day I come home from work, you better be screaming like that for me. Because you screaming like that for this dude, and this dude ain't doing nothing but singing a damn song. The lady oh my late dance with on stage apologized to her ex-boyfriend. It was a mistake. Listen, baby. If I throw this toothpick outside right now, and I accidentally hit somebody, that's a mistake. Ain't no making mistakes with that coochie, sister. <laughs> and think you gonna get off scot-free. And what's crazy to me is these be the same women that's online talking about what they ain't finna do. <laughs> talking about, oh, 50 50 on the bills. 50 50 on the, you want me to put something on the rent? You ain't no man. <laughs> Them be the same ones, but she gonna go to Oh My Lay concert, put some money on his bill, and also put, his, put some coochie on his lap for free. That brother ain't had to take her to Cheesecake Factory, Wendy's, or have a conversation with the bitch. Soon as she got on stage, she was ready to eat sausage. What oh, you say? Watch this real quick. It's the full video. Hold on. I got to see what all she did, bro. Because this is insane. This is insane. All right. All right, y'all. Hold on. I ain't never did it for a mid-break. We finna see what this, what this heifer did, bro. We finna see what this fucking... Oh, my God. She walked, look how she walking on six. Okay, he chilling. Y'all got to be, yeah, you got me fucked. <laughs> Bro, what? I bet she ain't never did none of that for his, her nigga, bruh. I bet she ain't never did none of that shit for her nigga. And they go back? She went back after it was done? 
Oh, that's sold. So that's sold right there. <laughs> oh hell no. Oh hell. <laughs> and they laughing at this thing. Boy, you make me a laugh stock. No, you make me a laugh stock. The internet laughing at this nigga, bro. It was that bad girl, like bro. You were you were holding the nigga's dick. Right, and she's sitting there trying to justify. Bro, she trying to justify. Oh hell no. Hell no. Listen, the only mistake in this situation is your man making a mistake thinking you was a wife when you was evil. You know what I'm saying? And these be the same women, man, that's talking about online what they not finna do for a man. But what you ain't finna do is go to this On My Lay concert, get that booty rubbed on, and think you about to come back to the crib with me, bitch. <laughs> Beat it, sister. To be honest and to put some blame on him, he lost his battle when he didn't set boundaries. Because if she would have told me she was going to go on that stage, I would have told her, look, I'm not controlling. You could go on if you want to, but you're going to be single. And it's that simple. So oh many God. dudes are so desperate for a relationship that they... Oh, God. Oh, fucking God. Oh, my mama grave. As soon as she would have said, if he point me out, I'm going on stage. And when he points you out, you a newly single bitch. Because I be motherfucking... Damn, I be dead. If you do all that, not willing to set boundaries in 2024. If you're not willing to walk away, then you have no leverage as a man. Let, let the oh God, bro. Listen, there's so many females out here that want relationships and that's gonna respect your boundaries, bro. You do not have to put up with none of this bullshit, bro. You don't got to put up with this shit as a man, bro. Like, I know the internet them, them brainwashed y'all and thinking that y'all got to take a bitch to... Y'all can't take a bitch to Cheesecake Factory. I'd be damned if I can't take my bitch to Cheesecake Factory. You can't take a bitch to Wendy's. I'd be damned if I take my bitch... Man, I'd be damned if I can't take my bitch to the dollar menu. I'd be damned if I can't go to Starbucks with my bitch for, on a first date or some bullshit, whatever the fuck they said. You tweaking. You tweaking if you allow shit like this, bro. I don't care who it is, bro. Lead her to the streets where she belongs if she willing to do all that. Smash her and keep it going. She is for the moment. She ain't even for the, the uh, season. She for the moment. She for the night. And you keep it pushing. There's so many other females out here. That's going to respect you, bro. And you may not think that, but I swear to God, once you start realizing, like, who the real women are, bro, man, you not have, man, hell, man, hell no, nah, hell no, nah, man. Bitch, walk. I don't care. <laughs> bro, y'all seen that, bitch? Disrespect her hard working man by getting on stage, disrespecting and, and embarrassing him. In front of the whole world. Listen. That's insane. The, the whole world. Bro. Not only. And this is like. You knew what you was doing bro. Not only. He got to. He got to sit there. In front of a packed arena. And everybody watching your girl. Turn into Beyonce off. What's that damn video of. Uh, Damn that video where she in the it's like the office and shit. Uh not drunk in love. Like she in the office and she like dancing for the uh I wanna dance for you. That music be like your girl turning to Beyonce off dance for you in front of a whole stadium. But you got niggas fucking recording and then they post it to the to TikTok. Oh, oh my god. Ain't no loyalty out here, bro. Oh my gosh, she ain't shit. Bro, gonna get up on stage and completely embarrass my dog. Completely. Embarrass him. Uh, and you, that bro, she danced. She, it ain't, this is way different than the Kiki Palmer situation. Her nigga wasn't even there to see. You dancing on a whole nother nigga in front of your nigga, bro. That you went to the concert with. And you dancing like he not even in the crowd. That is insane to me. Like, 
what goes through females' heads sometimes, bro? And then this is they're not. That's just no accountability. No accountability, bro. That is a that like that mindset right there for you to do some and not feel anything. I guarantee you, if it was the other way around and a female danced on him, he would be called. He ain't shit. What type of person he is? He'd be called all. He his name be ran through the mud. But because it's a female, they are coming up with all these things to make it okay. And that's what's wrong with the world. This double standard bullshit, bro. He disrespect my dog. Now listen, what I would do in a situation like that, bro. Boom, me and my girl, we sitting down, and the artist, whatever artist it is, he come up, he point at my girl. I'm gonna just go ahead and kindly tell her, man, you better not get up. And to me, oh that's god, even too much. Cause I shouldn't even have to tell you no, no common sense. Exactly. I'm not even gonna say nothing. I, 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 look, at, you better, you better not walk even. Act like you finna walk that way. It's over. Oh my god, bro. I can't. Yeah, I'm losing. Like I am losing composure right now. I did not know she did all this, bro. Damn. You tell you to come in, and you go and you come down. <laughs> that ain't my girl. As soon oh god, bro. I don't think you understand. It's the principalities of another nigga telling your girl to come here and she come here. Forget how famous he is. Forget how much money she got. Forget all the above. It's the fact that another nigga told your bitch to come here. And she go. That is, bro, that is not your bitch. When she get up and walk up, I'm getting off the leave. Thank you. On my mama. Thank you. Do not be sitting there. Do not be sitting there when she come back. I'm finna watch you up there, goddamn bend that ass, and she. Bro, bending that ass over in front of you is crazy, bro. Do not be there, when, bro. If your girl go up there and do that, please to God on everything I love on a Toriyama soul. Do not be there when she gets back. <laughs> she went up there and did the absolute most too. Man, this bitch went up there and bit that ass over. She up there, goddamn. And she up there disrespecting bro to the fullest. And man, in front of the world too, bro. Be bro. Man. Hey, hold on. Though, bro. That's why that's why you gotta, man, look, bro. What I be telling motherfuckers is, bro, man, your bitch is single to the right nigga, bro. That might not apply for every woman in the world, but for Thank man, you. That is what I'm trying to say, bro. If your bitch do that for another nigga, that's not your bitch, bro. And that's what I'm trying to get through to y'all, bro. I go on stage to beat the fucker up. No, KJ. That's when niggas get it wrong. Why would you fight another man about your bitch choosing? That is no, nigga. If your girl do that, if, uh, let me, bro, I'm going to put it in the plainest terms. I'm going to say it one more time. If your girl if another nigga tell your girl to come here and she comes here it's over with that's the end of it in the discussion ain't nothing we is all rap nigga over with don't you dare be there when she come back because that's not your bitch because at the end of the day it don't matter what it, it now bring all the, the status and the money in the right nigga with the right money she chooses the right, the right superstar, the right basketball player, she choosing. That's why you, sh that's why you shouldn't even date bitches that know about football players and basketball players and sports stars and movie stars. They don't follow shit like that, bro. She, she will immediately, immediately go for the right nigga, bro. And that's on everything. If you out and about and the right nigga look like he got that money, he can just look like he got money. She gonna choose on that nigga because she already mentally decided if a, the right person come, she leaving you. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. If another nigga can tell your girl to come here, do anything, it don't matter if famous. Don't let that shit slide if it's famous because that means if she, the more a bitch go to these concerts, nine out of 10 eventually, 
just rolling the dice, rolling the odds. If your girl goes to a concert every weekend out of the year, it's 52 weeks in a year. That's 52 concerts. She going to get chose by a rapper. It could be an underground rapper. It could be a big ass rapper. She going to get chose by that rapper just because he in that city and he want to fuck some that night. Yo, bitch liable to get chose. And if she willing to do that with anybody, she'll do is she willing to do that for a rapper or a singer? She willing to do that with anybody. That's the point I'm trying to get across, bro. And I grew up in this industry. And rappers and singers and DJs, and I'm a DJ, I'm telling you right now. It's certain bitches that come to clubs, bro, with they nigga and still would give me they fucking number, bro. These bitches ain't shit. That's why you need to understand and learn your bitch, bro. For real. And I'm sorry I keep calling these girls bitches. But if they gonna act like that, they bitches, bro. And they for the streets, bro. There's so many more women out here that fucking respect you because of the time you put into them. Because the effort you do for them. Just little shit, bro. You, like, there's so many women out here that would never, ever, ever do you like that. Never in their life will make you feel like you can't trust them because they don't want to be fit. They don't want to feel like that. So you could be anywhere and a nigga tell her, a nigga on stage tell her to come here. She not moving. She not even going to look at that nigga. She going to, she, if anything, she going to hold you tighter. And I swear to God, if you get in a situation and she running to you, that's your bitch for life, bro. I don't, y'all can break up today. That's still your bitch. Hey, bro, I, bro. It's still girls to this day. That still, I can call them right now. That lead ain't nigga for me because they know what it is, bro. That's just the type of bitches. It, that, that's the type of females, some females out there. If they fuck with you, they fucking with you. It is what it is. Don't ever let no bitch. Just don't never let. First, don't. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting tongue. Don't ever let a bitch choose on you. That's the first thing. And don't ever let a bitch feel like you insecure for having boundaries, bro. That's insane to me. I had, like, a you know, female called me, what's up, Raider? My fault. If a female ever said I was fucking soft or I'm insecure or what's the new word niggas they be using, sassy or some shit, just because I said you single if you did some whole shit, ain't no fuck, I don't, that's not your bitch. You fucking for the time being and you keep it pushing, bro. Don't, bro. And they'll show you what type of bitch they is off top, bro. They will definitely show you what type of bitch that bitch they are off top. But don't ever feel like you gotta uh, you gotta abide by those dumbass rules that them, the fucking double bound them double standard ass rules that they give you just so they can go have that cake and eat it too. Cause I guarantee you, if it was the other way around, I swear to God, if a bitch came to you and started grinding on you, the bitch finna finna. The, she finna go dumb she finna beat her ass and your ass i guarantee you well you said keep dropping them gems I'm not, bro i'm sorry bro like this shit this shit he, he is heated to me because first off the, earlier she was making excuses bro that shit pisses me off shit like that second off niggas really don't understand what be going on in them concert stuff con like them concerts and shit like that on top of that i dj Bruh, you can do a, I swear to God, you can DJ a wedding and the fucking bride will be choosing on you, bro. That's just how unfaithful some bitches are, for real. And I swear to God, bro, come in there with my ice on or something and I'm handling business and don't let, don't let her fucking husband look like a chump or something. I, bro, they don't care, bro. They do not care, bro. Don't, and don't ever let a female make you feel like, she can go do whatever because you got insecurities. So that's some bullshit. That is some fucking bullshit because of a girl. Y'all out in the club and a girl came and danced on you or some shit. She ready to beat that bitch ass. And then I guarantee you she going to be mad at you forever. And, and I might just break up with you. If you out and the fucking, the fucking, uh, y'all at dinner and a damn waitress is, is smiling extra hard at you. I guarantee you she gonna be mad at you and tell you not to tip the bitch. If you out and about, and I had this shit, this shit didn't happen to me. I'm telling you real life shit that just how they act, bro. And they hold shit against you. You go to a con, you go to a convention and you take a picture with a bitch and she, she loving your suit or something. 
and loving your cosplay suit, she going to feel some type of way because somebody say you look good in a suit. You can't control what the bitch say. You can't control what these bitches do, but you can control what you do. But I guarantee you, once they flip and somebody compliment her and she getting, she loving something, you're not going to say nothing because you can't control that nigga. But you can control how she react to shit. And if she's sitting there choosing on that nigga, giving him the oak, like, it's certain ways females let that door open for certain niggas. And they, I guarantee you, man, this, man, it be bitches cheating on their boyfriends and stuff at cons, bro. Oh, my God. I can go on for days and days, bro. But when you find, when you out here looking for somebody to date and, and potentially marry, they will let you know if they a real one or they for the streets. And if you and if you man enough to lay down the law like dead ass, she will respect that. Cause for uh, real talk, a lot of females love when you handle them a certain way, and that's and that's the that's the crazy part about it. If a female see you not scared to do whatever, and you handle them a certain way, and it is what it is, ain't no shit happening this way on my watch or whatever. I guarantee you, she respect you for the rest of your life, bro. And she not going to cross them boundaries. I guarantee them to Bro, and this come from a nigga. Bro, I dress up as Power Rangers, bro. I dress up in Power Rangers suits. All my bitches know that I dated, that I took seriously. They know not to go there with me, not to cross that line. And and they know they they, they, with, a, they with a real man. And that's all you got to do. Don't let them. Don't let them play them fucking mind games. Because that's what, that's what hoes do. And they play those mind games because something wrong with them inside. And they never going to get that filled up. They never going to be happy. Whatever's going on inside of them, you can't fix that and you can't change them. But you cannot get, you got to just let it rock out. And she, when she show you her true colors, wash your hands and keep it pushing. But don't, don't sit there and stay with it. Because then once she, once she, once she does that to you, and she see you because she could do that to you. It's just going to get worse and worse. She's just going to keep playing you. Keep using you. And it's going to get worse. And then you're going to be looking like a fool out here. And everybody going to be laughing at you and all types of shit. And that's what we don't want. But I'm done because I can keep going on. Keep going on. Appreciate you, Rated, for uh, dropping up in here. Appreciate that. But let's finish this video because this video turned into a whole lot other thing, bro. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> majority bro yo bitch is single for the right nigga bro and what he exactly. did he presented his bitch in front of the right nigga and she was gone Pew! <laughs> she was gone my god Pew! without the fucking shadow of a doubt Didn't i think the story bad. got big because it's a symptom of the modern feminist mindset that a woman can do whatever she wants, even though she's in a relationship oh i'm mm -hmm. bending over and getting on my knees for him he's not just another guy he's a famous guy and to be clear according to what i know i don't feel bad for this guy at all because of this i was really don't know anything me and him have been speaking since the concert been seeing since the concert so i don't know what you guys are even truly feeling bad for he's forgiven me we've spoken we know like i know i know he forgave you see what i'm saying have you seen the new bob marley movie no nah, bro i need to see it though he forgave her though oh hell no nah. he a simp and that's well, not that's that's a prime example he a simp you do not have to be a simp to find love my boy don't be a simp for love bro and that's another thing i hate all these niggas be in oh that's why females feel like they can just they can just be on the internet and treat everybody like shit because niggas be simping all the fucking time gassing their head up all the time bro like don't be desperate for a female bro because nine out of ten she gonna use sex as leverage to where you can't get you can't have sex with her unless you do xyz plus one two or three she never gonna suck your dick for fun she never gonna do anything because you ask for it, you always got to do this extravagant shit for her. Please stop simping. God, I get with her mom or sister to get back at her. Bruh, listen, bro. If a girl ever did you dirty, turn it, please turn it to future. And if you know who future is and know what future does, bro, most grimiest nigga you can be. 
I'm the type of nigga to get with your best friend and fuck your best friend and not tell you and let them figure it out. And then they get mad or some shit. Like, they they find out later. That's just me. And what's crazy, so many of your girl's best friends be wanting you once you get with their friend. Bro, that's a whole that's a whole other side story. Anyway, let's finish this video. What I know, he knows what he knows. So, you guys are doing a lot. If I, I would just be quiet at this point because it's, you guys look very gullible. So, just give it a rest. I even want to show you. Gullible? Guys. No, she, she done got away with it. With the, she done got her cake and eat it, too. So, she... Now she's gonna talk shit to the world. I hate comments down there if you think. I don't think you guys really and truly know what happens when people get bullied, especially online. And if something ever happens to people, you guys are so quick to talk about mental health. Mental health where? Like, you guys really don't have a clue. So, like, it really, really needs to stop. It's getting boring. Like, it's, I'm over it. Like, I don't get it. Why are you guys not over it when... Me and him are over it, like what? I agree with her. She showed him exactly who he is, and if he wants to take her back, good luck, brother. Because if she's willing to do that while you there, the next time she sees a guy that has a nice chain on or drives a nice car. Buck, 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 literally getting dug out. Raw, raw. <laughs> That's on you. Next thing you know, you're going to be in the shower listening to Drake. Let me know in the comments below if this video was a WRL and give it an HBO special. That's our brother out special. Hit the like and the subscribe button for more content. Till next time. Alright, YouTube. Exactly what he said. Appreciate y'all for watching this video. Sorry it became a, a very long one. I went on a rant. If y'all want to see these live, come to Twitch. Like he said, like, comment, subscribe at the bottom. Uh, trying to get to 300. I'm on the road to 500. Please help your boy out. We keeping the pace going and we out chill.